What's up, everybody? He's Lil Duval. And that's my gay ass sister, Rolanda. And together we're at you. Yeah, yeah. We're delivering a podcast that's always blunt and off to the fence. And guaranteed to make even the most uptight listeners get over themselves and laugh out loud. Yeah, y'all know about that intro. It's some bullshit. But I have to do it. Because just stop talking and just do the intro. I'm doing it. Goddamn. Cut that out. Cut that out. Goddamn, goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn. We can't get into this. We can't get into this. Yes, it has been an emotional week this week. <laughs> a lot has happened in the last week. And you would think she's talking about all the crazy shit, but really she's just talking about Beyonce. First, I'm talking about Beyonce, but then, you know, we had Prince, and then we had oh, yeah. Harriet Prince. Tubman, and then we had... Um, Target being boycotted. There's so much going on in this last week. I'm excited about this podcast. <laughs> and that, most of that, I don't know nothing about besides the Prince thing. And that was a major blow in this in this household because a lot of y'all <laughs> might not know this, but I fuck with Prince. My old lady fucks with Prince really hard. Like, it shows all over our house. The pool table is purple. Our master bedroom is purple. You threw me off with that. Tell the story about how when you um, showed me your oh, purple bedroom. Yeah, like a couple months ago, I was showing the purple bedroom <laughs> to my sister. And she thought it was me. She was like, this shit look gay. I did. Because first of all, he was excited. He was like, let me show you the light fixture. Let me show you the light fixture. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, let's go check out the light fixture. The chandelier. We go downstairs and it's a chandelier. And I was, he was looking for a reaction. And I was, um, I was, uh, what is it? Speechless. Mm -hmm. And so much was going through my head at that moment. I was like, is he trying to tell me? Because it's a purple bedroom. So you really thought I was trying to come out to you? So I, you, it, it was. <laughs> it was like it was a purple bedroom. It had chandeliers. You had like this, um, um, everything was just very like gay. But why she say that? Because my house, for the most part, it's mostly built like a, a man cave and it's built like for, like a lounge right. but that's the only room that's for like she wanted the only thing she asked for was just make sure my room was for me so I made sure her room was for her so it's but all I didn't, I didn't put the connection together because everything else was Duval yeah yeah everything yeah everything else was Duval so when we go in this room and I'm just like well why is it purple? I asked you that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, and it's like, I was it's like, it's, like, it's like deep purple too. Like doves cry purple. Like yeah, the purple she'll, rain. She'll be purple. Per, uh, Prince fan. And also the dog, the fuck ass Yorkie that everybody that follow me know. I hate puss ass Yorkies. I really believe like Yorkies will make you believe in re reincarnation. Cause it's, it's some type of human in this goddamn Yorkie. And I hate that. Fuck. But the fuck nigga name is Prince Roger Nelson. <laughs> She named the dog full name. If you look at, I posted on my Instagram, if you go scroll down, if you look down there, you'll see his birth certificate and say, Prince Roger Nelson III. The third. The third. The third. The third. And I hate his bitch ass. I be I trying to punt him every week. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. Why you name them Whoopi? Because she kind of ugly, but she kind of cute, and I couldn't really like figure out <laughs> so what. So you just, you just straight up called Whoopi ugly? She know it. <laughs> yeah. She been knowing this since the color purple. <laughs> but funny. I fucks with I, I like Whoopi. I'm gonna meet her one day. They're gonna ask me to come up. Do, is she still on the view? Yes, I think so. I'm sorry, Whoopi. Yeah. yeah. But you I would still... never be invited now. You just burned that <laughs> yes, bridge. Yes, I will. I did. You better stop burning well, bridges. It's not you a burn know... bridge because I did name my dog Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, you named the dog that you said was ugly. Whoopi Goldberg. But I'm very I have a lot of affection for Whoopi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I like have... it for for what's on the inside. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So anyway, so what's what's been happening with you this week? You uh What 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 have I been doing? I don't know. Got I... cold. Oh, you shot Gakko, right? Well, we shot something with MTV. You know, we shot something. Shot. We trying to bring back because it's been a lot of it's been a lot of bitch shit been going on in the in the world as far as what men is concerned. So I feel like it's just our obligation, our duty to bring men back to being men because y'all been slacking. Yeah, especially with that guy who um, uh, Iggy Azalea. Yeah, uh, D'Angelo uh, Russell. D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, that was some. But that's because he ain't got no OG. OG around him. Every every nigga, every young nigga need at least one or two OGs around you to tell you, hey. But this was just one of his slip ups. Yeah, but you need a nigga. Like I always had, if you know me, everybody I hung around with me always been older than me. You know, matter of fact, I gotta do I meant to tell y'all this too. I brought a guest for this show. Special guest? A special guest. Cause like I wanted to bring some, like I know everybody brings celebrities to their shit, and I could do that too, but I, you know, I like to be a little different. So I figure I bring like... I want to meet celebrities. Yeah, I mean, we we might, but we're not going to focus on celebrities. Yeah, I want to focus like on the common person, you know, for the common... Because I think we need more stuff to relate to the common person. Well, how person. about bringing my common um gay friends? You, you can... Shit. 
Yes, it is my show. You did tell me the first episode. Shit. This was for me. But we all realized once we start putting I'm two gonna and two bring together, in, it's not your show. I'm going to bring in a transgender friend. Oh, no, no, no. You ain't finna do that. Uh-uh, Why not? wait. We got to slow down. You can't just straight out the box go straight training. I know. That's what happened when I, yeah, I got married. I, I just went on. straight out. Like, I'm, yeah. getting, I'm getting married. Yeah, you got to ease it. Okay. You're like, finger I fuck me in the game. That. I did wait, learn that. Wait, that didn't sound right. Like, like <laughs> ease the game in the so many. Just don't ease walk down, up. Ease yeah, down, yeah. down the road. Yeah, don't do that. But, okay, it just can't be wobbling. Yeah, right slowly but surely, then drop the trainee. Like once I'm, I'm never going to be comfortable. Not a trainee, a transgender. Yeah. Oh my bad, because there's so do, there's a total be, difference in okay, training. Okay, well, what about if I bring a male? Transgender, so it was no, a woman no, that's a man. No, bring bring a gay girl first. You want the woman? <laughs> yeah, I you want, want the. Oh, I don't care bring what, a lesbian is what you say. Yeah, I don't care what kind of gay girl it is. Bring a gay girl Let me first. Write that down. Bring a lesbian. Yeah. But you know, I got I don't do not hang out with gay boys. That's gonna be hard for me to find. Okay, what? Well, well, bring a lesbian friend. Yeah, that'd be we're gonna have a lesbian girl. Or if one of, you know what? If somebody wanna come on the show that's that wanna speak their point of view or feel like, you know, that's a good that's I a good I wanna bring thing. dice on the show. Somebody that you somebody that feel like 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 I'm I hate gay people or something like that, they're you certain type of way. Hit come on the show. I'll let you come on the show and you speak your mind and I'm gonna show you how stupid you sound. <laughs> <laughs> So come, come on, on the show so I can shit on you. Yes, so bring shit your on ass. You. you know, I'm bring a beast your... at that. Now, I want to invite uh, Dice because... Can I introduce him? We ain't even introduced him yet. God damn. Well, now that you don't... Okay, up, we'll I'm bring her. Right. Excited. So anyway, all right, well, back we, to... We won't bring her. Back to who I was introducing. Okay, yeah. You went all the way to the gay side. Let me come back to the straight well, side. We bring it. We got time. So anyway, I, I said I want to bring like regular people to tell their story and testimonies in life. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't feel like people telling that many testimony. I got a testimony. Oh, yeah, Lord. I got a testimony. 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 Oh, yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But anyway. That's how we going to intro everybody that got a yeah. testimony. So, so I figured, like, like, I got my OG. You know, this dude, believe it or not, this the dude that first gave me some dope, some drugs. He's the person that put, well, I ain't gonna say he's the first person that gave me drugs. He's the first person that gave me some, gave me like work, you know? So, so I appreciate you because I was stealing all that money. Yeah, she was stealing all my goddamn money. <laughs> but this my man, you know, he gonna tell his story. We gonna talk, you know, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna do no question here. We just gonna make it natural, you know? Yeah. This my man, Sean, you know, he just got out of prison. He did 10 years. Whoa. 10 long years. Hey. Huh? What it do? What? How many you did? I did eight on nine. Uh, eight, eight on nine. Okay. So that mean he was supposed to do yeah. nine, and he did eight. Yeah, you know, he did. He gave him what they gave you nine years. Yeah, they gave him nine. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, my bad. Hey, let me tell you about this nigga. He he did nine years, but every year he thought he was gonna come out the next year. <laughs> that's a good. That's hope. <laughs> nah, I knew you. Listen, I, you know how Florida do it. They're gonna yeah, trick you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This a my, new law come up every week that never get passed. Yeah, this my man though, man. Like what it do? Like Sean, you know we like he 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 the first person to give me some jugglers. Like I used to sell drugs, believe it or not. I'm not proud of it, and it wasn't no. This is the thing what people don't realize about dope. It's not really don't make you a real nigga. Because when we came up, everybody sold dope. Everybody. Everybody. His whole family. Like, talk, tell us about your family and all that, how, how, dope, how dope was a part of your, your family. Well, on both sides of my family, my granddaddy sold drugs on my um, mother's side. On my father's side, my grandma sold. Uh -huh. So, all my uncles... Now we might need to put subtitles at the bottom because he's really country and he oh, don't yeah. open his mouth. So I'm gonna try to explain certain things too hey, if hey, I feel hey. like I right, we don't that. know what the fuck he watch said. That. All right, you know where you come from, <laughs> man. Go ahead, no, man. <laughs> so go ahead, man. What 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 you were saying now? Well, you know when you um in the streets, you know what I'm saying you come from an environment that most of the time your your if your father sold drugs, you are gonna sell drugs. Mm -hmm. You know, if your uncle sold drugs, you're going to sell drugs because that's the influence that you get. Let that's me ask you this. Want. How did you look at drugs growing up? How well, did you look at it? Actually, I come from a small country town, folks in Georgia. Mm -hmm. So really, I didn't feel the impact until I moved to Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. So that was around like 12 years of age. When did, how old I, were you when you started selling dope? 14. 14? Yeah. And what got you in? Who got you in the game? Oh, Since uncles. you got me in the game. My uncles. Who got you in the game? My uncles. Your uncles. My father. Okay. 
Yeah, so, you know, I used to see them bust down bricks and, you know, do their thing. And me and my cousin used to go steal, you know, go swipe us off a few rocks, uh, jugglers or whatsoever. And yeah. i go take it to my homeboys and let them do what they had to do and so what shit me that, out my money. So that's how I learned. What does that look like? He got you in the game. So what did that conversation well, I, didn't you, look like? I didn't get you oh, in let the me, game. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, let me say that. I, I just got out of jail. Yeah, he had just got out of jail. And us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me explain this, this to y'all too. My sister, she was sheltered. Like she don't know none of this stuff. Like and that's okay. And it's okay. Yeah, she's a little innocent little yeah, girl. Yeah, she was an innocent first, girl, man. but at the same time, so she don't know this part of my world. So anyway, what what were you saying again? What were you saying about? No, I was saying I didn't introduce you to drugs. You okay. came to me for okay, drugs. Okay. Actually, it was me and my homeboy. Okay. It was it was Mike. me and it was me and little Mike. Rest in peace, little Mike. I love Rest you. Rest in peace. I love you. Deaf and alive. Good Live dude. and deaf. But this is my man. But let me tell you the story about that, though. <laughs> like, he, we got some jugglers. Jugglers are like y- your pack. Like, yeah. you get your work. That's your work. That's what Well, they you, came in like, you know, you do 50 packs back then. You bust down. You might take a cookie and break it down. Yeah, yeah. You, know, so you buy a cookie. Cookie is a is an ounce of... Uh, of well, uh, it's, it can be anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can talk about it. You got you got oh, locked yeah. up for this. So you can talk about all this. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you, you, got, you did your time for yeah, this. Yeah, I did so, mine. So anyway, what it was, he did, and I and I'm past the statute of limitation. I already oh, yeah, made yeah, sure. You're good, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. So anyway, the the dope, the crack, it was so what he used to do, he used to give it to us and break it down and say, All right, we want to buy how much we used to buy? You don't even remember, dude. It was been you know, so y'all long. Y'all might buy 10, 20 juggles and I throw y'all a little extra. Yeah, you throw a little extra. Yeah, he, like <laughs> if we buy 10 juggles, 10 uh, juggles might be $100 or something like that. Then you can make 200, 300, depending on how you chop it up yourself. So anyway, so he gave us these jugglers. And I think we kept coming back re up. But... Mike never paid him. Mike. <laughs> ran <laughs> off on the plug twice. Mike really ran off on the and, plug and twice. And was mad at me. And was mad at Sean for running off on the... Like, I used to be like, man, come on. And Mike, my best friend. And I used to be like, man, you fucked up, man. It's wrong. But Mike was acting like he was wrong for doing... It took a long... How long? About man. 10 years passed before he finally... Yeah, it was a while. We all ran into each other at Gateway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's in Jacksonville, Florida, for y'all. I don't know, Duval County. Uh-huh. And what happened? We just talked. Like, man, you know, he was like, man, you know, ain't no... I said, Mike, ain't no issue, man. That was... I don't understand why we had beef, because it really wasn't nothing to me. Yeah, 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 so yeah. So he was like, man, you know, we dapped up or whatever, and we went on about our business. Okay. So, all right, let's continue going on in your, in your story. So what happened, like... So how did that transition into... Tell us about the first time you got locked, because when I met you, <laughs> I'll tell you, that's another story, too. Me and his brother was cool. Me and his brother still cool, Matu. Shout out to Matu. Matu, we used to be in a dancing group together, right? <laughs> Getting it done. Yeah, yeah. We used to be, like, you know them dick throws? That was us. Like Miami style. Yeah, Miami style, Florida style, all that. We y'all, used to be throwing had, our dick. Y'all had the women, though. Like, yeah, we that. did. But let me tell you that. It used to be two of us. And then they added another nigga in the group. Oh, you're going to like this here, Rolanda. They had another nigga in the group. And so the other nigga, he was dancing too. But this nigga, it was something about the nigga. I said, I said, man, my two, the nigga gay, man. He said, my man, he ain't gay. He be fucking all the bitches. I said, no, man, that nigga gay, what man. Oh my. Yes. What was I wrong? What ended up happening? He ended up being, he ended up fucking all the dudes on the road. Oh, we used to go on the road and all about this dance and shit. So anyway, what happened was, like he was locked up, and my two used to always tell. Like my two used to look at you like you was a god, like you were locked up, and that's what people don't realize by in the streets. Yeah. When somebody get locked up, we look at them as you idolize. You them. idolize them. That's you don't. All you know. Yeah, that's, that's all you know. And so that uh, his brother was telling me about man, Sean does this, that, whatever. Blase, blase. He gonna get out. And so I'm excited about it too. Matter of fact, that might have been the reason why I went to you for some dope. I was like, shit, I just want to be the person. I want to get some dope from the nigga. <laughs> From from John. So when he got out, you got smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got smart though. I was way smarter. Hey, <laughs> hey, a, I ain't say you were smart. Yeah, I was you way. I ain't gonna even go that far. But I ain't gonna go that story. You made better decisions. I made a lot better. And all these decisions I made, I told him about them too. He didn't want to listen. But that's a whole nother story. Oh, hey, hey, hey hold on. All right. When you in them, when you out there in that game, that's all you know. That's you all right. you want to know. Yeah, that's all you want to yeah, know. That's, that's the thing. All right. So anyway, so when he got out. When he got out, he got back right in the street. So why did you get locked up the first time? What was your yeah. first, ch- when you when oh, we I, was idolizing you in prison? Oh, I, I went on a high-speed chase. <laughs> <laughs> For what? 
Um, what you think? I, nope. I had a pistol on me. I had some sack on me, so I had to, I had to bend in the ship. Is that when Jacksonville was doing ten twenty to life? No. No. Okay, because I can see why you ran. See, no, no, no what, what happened? If you had a gun, this is how long he been in the street. What happened? I caught a case in '91 in yeah. Georgia. I told you he my OG. I, so this way before I was out on bun on that. Yeah. So and I think it was '93. Uh, I got pulled over. I had just bought a Chevy, and I was following my partner. So when they pulled me over, I'm thinking everything great, but I hear the police get on the um and the car like, "Hey, don't get out the car." So I got this 45 sitting next to me, mm-hmm. and I got this sack. So. Yeah. He shouldn't have told me that though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I did. I took, took off. off. Took so off. I got I got away. I got rid of this on sack. Mm-hmm. Well, the sack dropped off, man. I got rid of the pistol. I threw it on the roof. So by the time they got me, you know, they brought you me back. You think it's still on the roof? No, I'm just bullshit. Go ahead. It, it probably is. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, somebody probably got there and bought it. Somebody uh-huh. you know, Duval. Yeah. But when they uh, I got away, but uh, I think they. No, they, I got. I mean, I mean, you know, I got the worst memory. Yeah, I ain't yeah, no go ahead. Drug, it's been a long time. Yeah, I ain't used drugs. That's the funny uh, thing too. He's never used. Enough. He's never enough. used drugs. He don't drink. He don't smoke. He's never used. Them. And the, another thing about him, another, I think, another misconception about niggas that sell dope. He is the nicest, softest spoken they person. That until you, you uh, get me wrong. Yeah, until you. Okay, he want to say the tough part, but no, that tough no, shit don't matter the most. You already know what. Now you. Got. Now don't get twisted. He ain't no hoe. But at the same time, he is very. I don't soft. sweat. I don't sweat now because it's. Yeah, he, I, I never. If you saw him, street. like we used to, when he when he was strong, like real strong in the streets, we used to rank on him because. You know how everybody dressing now these young kids like with the tight pants and the weird. Oh, that used to be him. I wear no goddamn tight pants. Nigga, your shit used to be my more, pants weren't tight. Your shit was wasn't loose like I was back in the, back in the day. Oh, everybody no, wore baggy. Bag. I don't hate the but baggy all I'm saying bag. is you was an innovator. One of the like what oh, they yeah, wear now. You used, used to, to wear me by everything. Yeah, you, what you wearing Vans for? Yeah, what, yeah. He used to wear Vans wearing blazers? and all blazers. He used to dress weird than a motherfucker. Out in the streets. Yeah, out in the streets. That was his guess, style. Guess what happened? What. what? Everybody started wearing it. Guess what he said to me? What? Man, I told somebody my dog been wearing that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, you had to admit it. Yeah, he did been wearing this stuff. So, so that's all. I just want to paint a picture of the type of personality he is. He's a he's a very soft spoken, gentle, gentle giant. Well, gentle. He's I'm a small person. Small person, but at the same time, you ain't finna be trying. But finish going ahead. Okay. My bad. Well, they brought me back to the scene. Mm-hmm. So they found the dope, the sack. They had me and my partner. They put it on me, which it was, man. Mm-hmm. So I, I went in. I, I was going to trial, but my lawyer suggested that I take three years since my first offense, which I had a previous charge in Georgia. And this I was state, know about state, it. Yeah, right? State. So I ended up um, pleading out the three years. I did two years on that. So when I got out, I think you and my brother was doing y'all thing. Mm-hmm. No, matter of fact, I caught another case after that. Oh yeah, dude the car wash. Up, at the car up, wash, car. I remember that. Yeah, dude, I remember up at that the car wash. Uh-huh. So when I, I was going to serve somebody, and I caught a case at the car wash. Dude, set me up. So when I got out, that's when my brother was telling me about y'all, uh-huh. and I heard that y'all was doing, you know, that the, the, you know, the little dance thing was it was here. Yeah, 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 I thought yeah. It was gay as hell. Yeah, whatever. You just oh, my, my bad. It's very my gay. Bad. No, no, it's it was not gay. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. See, I appreciate that. Look no, at that. But I had to respect it because they were getting all the chicks. So, nigga, one so, thing about it. That, listen, if a nigga wasn't dancing back then, you couldn't dance. He but, can't dance. That's why he wasn't dancing. Okay, you got me on that. Yeah, he was hating. <laughs> yeah, you was. <laughs> but they was getting all the women. So. My brother introduced, and that, that you know, it went from there. So we, you know, we became good friends after that. Yeah, yeah, we became good friends. That's where our man Montana. He used to come down. You know, Montana was a crazy motherfucker. Like he yeah. was the crazy. Yeah, I didn't know Montana. Yeah, every, everybody at least in Atlanta, you know, Montana. What I was going by then, China. I, this nigga changed his name oh, yeah. seventeen Bogart, times. Too. China. Yeah, yeah. I remember he tried to Sean. do, and that's another thing about about my man Sean too. Sean. He's a perfect example. Like, you know how people want to be. I can honestly say he tried to get out of the hood. He tried to make his dope money, clean money. He tried everything. He tried yeah, everything. Everything. Yeah. Even the shit I told him wouldn't work. He still even he still tried it. And 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 just from watching him and a couple of my other friends, I realized like, like some the society is built to where to where it's you're born to win. How how does how the saying go? Uh, born to lose, built to win, or some shit like that. Whatever the saying, or y'all know what I'm saying. And it's uh, and the way certain societies is you're not. It's not built for us to win, no matter how you try to do right, this, that, whatever. Because even with our money, we haven't been taught 
how to function economically. We right. don't understand economic. We don't understand, you know, finances, how to invest. You know, because a lot of times when you invest, most black folks do the same thing. Uh-huh. Car wash, uh-huh. you know, beauty salon, not nothing. Magazines. Nothing Ma- oh, yeah, yeah, I did a magazine. Yeah, he tried right. to open up a magazine. But I was doing that before people started doing that. Yeah, 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 that's true. So, you know, studios. Studios, so, modeling. You did model. You was, he's a very good photographer, too. Yeah, yeah, but nobody tell me about, you know, diverse, uh, diversifying a portfolio, investing in stock, you know, the stock market and things like that. So you have this money and you don't know what to do with it. Yeah. You're going to do what's around you, what you see every day. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that's the difference. Yeah, you just need to be educated and bring up the speed. And that's what I try to do. I, if, if y'all really follow me or pay attention to my career, not only do I entertain with laughter, I try to also try to also bring the people that come from where I come from up to speed. And because I think that's the only thing that we're missing. Like, we just don't have the education. I don't know what's going on out there. Because, like, I think you are what you see. And yeah, what true. you see, like, if you see me all overseas, like, you see everybody else travel. But if you see somebody come from the same per- same place you come from doing that, that opens your eyes up. You know what the biggest thing is, too? In our communities, you don't have doctors living next to the mechanics. You don't have mechanics living next to the pilots. You know, once people get money, a certain amount of wealth, they move out the community. Mm-hmm. So what you left is the worst of the worst. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. even the violence and it, the drugs are so permanent, you know, throughout our um, communities because yeah. we don't have that there. You know, you know where you come from. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. It's rugged over there. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, but so, it's the good thing I will say in the difference between when we came up, we really didn't want to be thugs. Like, it was just nah, so happened nah. to be... Cause you just just a product it, of your environment. But it makes you aggressive. Yeah, it just makes just makes you aggressive. But nobody wanted to. Nowadays, I, I well, some people do. Let's get it right. Some people, yeah, some I'm entirely. Yeah, where they some just people. Be nah, there was some. They wanted to do silly stuff. They didn't live long neither. Yeah. Most of them people, they got locked up yeah. real quick. And some got lucky and made it out, and you know, yeah, functioning yeah, now. yeah. But you don't want to risk that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But it's just like tell them about like what happened with this last case like how did you get jammed big for that one well um, in my because this is a long story I don't want to yeah I'm not going to go into too much detail but I got arrested at my recording studio Mm -hmm. with a couple keys Mm -hmm. and um, ended up catching nine years did I tell you not that was this one? Oh no, I was talking to Troy. No, you know what? If I would have listened to you on one thing, and I uh-huh. thought about that, okay. he's like, "Why did you put this studio in Jacksonville?" Mm-hmm. You know, you like, man, you know, I got connects. Why you? Why you yeah, put yeah, it in yeah, Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went and spent two hundred thousand on something that wasn't gonna make no money. Yeah, when yeah. I could have been in Atlanta with you, all the people you knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have yeah. had a better. But you know, sometimes when you are in your mind, friend, you think, man, I'm going. I think you got a lot to be with being a man too. Yeah, you don't want because you're your own that. man, and and at the time too. I mean, I think you might have been making more than me at that time. So to listen to a person that's making less than you, and it's no, kind of hard. With me, it's different. I just don't like to leech off people. You know that about yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I yeah. ain't want to play off what you got going on because I felt like I can do what I needed to do mm-hmm. and be successful in it. You know, so right. that was one of my, what I was talking about earlier, pride. Yeah, pride. 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 You know, you, yeah. sometimes you, you you feel like you find resolve in your pride and sometimes it can be misleading. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So that was one of my biggest things. If I would have listened, you know, even though you can be. Uh, yeah, I will I, say this. Uh, like, a lot of stuff I used to do with Sean, like, and don't get it twisted, Sean could beat my ass. He, could, <laughs> he can. But I, one thing I am, I'm blunt, and I say what's on my mind. And, like, sometimes I don't say it the right way. It's not what you say is how you say it. And sometimes I say it, and I'm never saying it from a, malice, a, a place of malice. I'm saying it from an honest place. But some people don't take it like that. Some people take it the wrong way. You feel me? So a lot of times when I used to tell them stuff, it went through one end out the other because the way I said it, I'm like, man, you don't need to do no stupid shit like that. Blah, 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 See, but that's the, that's when people get in the mind frame. Man, I'm, man, I don't I'm know proven, what it's all about. Prove wrong. And the thing about it, you've been functioning like this all your life. That's all you know how to function. You yeah. know, that's all you know. If, yeah. Especially if you've been a boss. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, you got people working for you. You got people doing this. You know, in in the game, but you're at a certain level. You, know, you used to people doing for you. Yeah. Right. You know, you used to groupies. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Right. Dope boys got groupies. Right. Just as yes, much as any do. football, basketball player, or any artist, they got, got the a same fact, group. They got some of these football and basketball players. And some of the artists are groupies of dope boys. Right. So when you at a certain level, Sierra. 
<laughs> Where's Sierra come from? Where she come from? Cause man, she was dating um uh future. Now she dating a. You don't think she made a better band. decision? She made a better decision. She did, but she's an opportunist. Like, oh, How? future is available. Oh, now I got a better opportunity. I'm gonna go How? with that one. I mean, that if I was her, I'd go with that nigga. You should too, applaud but... her. Yeah, yeah. Stop so she's gonna deal... I don't feel like she's. I don't feel she's like she's gonna the, be dealing the... with ignorance the rest of her life. She got. I feel like you really hate. I agree with that, but. Obviously, I feel like she she just go with any way the wind blow. How many? I mean, that's she a good go piece of wind. The wind blow. Well, no, so, no, I'm no. not gonna date. Uh, okay, I know what my style of man is. Obviously, she'll go with. What style of man? Hold up, you like men there? Hold up, she coming out. She coming out. You threw me off. Hold uh, on, yeah, I didn't mean that. Yeah, yeah. We was talking about Sierra. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying, I know what my style is. I'm not gonna just go way out of my style. Just, and like, I, okay, so talk, you might get a bad rap. Oh, go ahead. No, that's not true. That's that's such a straight man thing to say. Such a straight man thing to say. But anyway, so go back to what you were saying because she just threw us all off. But go ahead. Y'all agree it's Sierra's that way. Go ahead. No, but the thing is, you know, you when you're in that that's the thing about the game. You become addicted to the game because of the things that you can accomplish through the game. Mm-hmm. You can get the women. Did you really you, did you know you know I don't holler at women. Nah, they he is to the suck. At me. Yeah, he sucks at trying oh, to get yeah, it. Did you real Did you realize how much money you had back then? Did you realize it? Oh yeah, I'm pretty good on, you know, calculating. I'm talking about but did you realize that. like like now that you look back at how much you had and fucked up? Well, this is the difference. I think about, okay, well, you got, if you got 40, 50 bands, right, mm-hmm. you, you don't think about, like, the average person would make, like, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 a year. No, the average person no. make about... No, that's a family. That's a family. You know, when you're talking about, you know, what, 28000 No, they make about thirty, forty thousand. dollars The median household is 50, No, 4, I'm talking about minimum wage. Oh. If you look at minimum wage, that's like thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. He's talking about in the hood. Yeah. He's talking about a hood person. Like you talking yeah, about yeah. regular life. Come on, man. Like what she's reading. Yeah, yeah. now nah, she's reading. She's googling and reading studies. Yeah, I'm and talking. Shit. About no, I'm very astute, and so I know what's going Georgia on in minimum the world. Wage. So that's why I meant fifty four thousand. So what about fifty four thousand in the hood? What's the average income well, he, in the hood? He might be right at thirteen. I have no idea. Seven twenty six an hour in Georgia. Okay, he might be right. Seven twenty six an hour in Georgia. You do the math. Okay. So you think about say if you're making. Twenty thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. If you got a hundred bands, mm-hmm. that's five years of work. Yeah, you just <laughs> killed five years of work. It, you know, mm-hmm. and you throw that money. You know, you go in the script club. You might throw throw away a grand, two, three grand, according to what your your finances look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you do certain things, and you don't realize, like, man, listen, man, I just. And when you get, especially when you get up the road, you get in prison, you start like, damn, boy. Ain't none of these strippers gonna give me no taxes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, money, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't blow all the money I don't get to these strippers. And I can't get five. How many no bitches? Taxes I'm, while you was locked up, how many of them bitches you was able to talk to? How many bitches you got in, kept in contact with? I think about three or four. Three or four was still. You know, just were looking out for me. That's a good number. Yeah, that's you know, a good looking number. Looking out, you know, I'm a pretty good dude. Yeah, yeah. That. Hey, you know what else funny? I ain't gonna say no names, but one of these, the most. One of the biggest rappers out right now, they made a song about this girl. And this was this nigga girl. And this was this I, nigga. We was cool. Nah. Yeah, was hold, cool. Up. hold up. Hold up. Let me, hold up. Don't go. I ain't going to say no name. I ain't going to say no name. Don't go there, man. We but this was cool. this nigga girl. We was and, cool. With my, we was in a, a, a good friendship. Fuck out of here. Yeah, he, that was her boyfriend. I mean, that was his girlfriend, but that was his her bestie. Rihanna was, she, she was, he was, she was Rihanna. No, nah, it wasn't Rihanna. No, I looked at it for uh, I, you know, because it's easy to get a woman when you're in the game. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I like to think of it. I don't have no kids. You know, I'm looking at, okay, selling down. Let me find something that I can chill with. Yeah. I do like nice looking women, so, yeah. you know, that's yeah, what Yeah, but she chilled with another nigga, though. She went and moved on as soon as he got <laughs> locked up. But anyway. <laughs> that, hey, even the ones they invested in this, it still happens. Yeah. So what's the what's the most important thing you learned in life just from your, your life story and what you, your ups and your downs and... And one thing else I learned about niggas, I learned that the only niggas that's talking that rah-rah shit is niggas that ain't never been to prison. You can't get a nigga that's been to prison to do wrong no more. Not even that. I think when you evolve, Mm -hmm. you know, from a a child state of mind, Mm -hmm. and you look at your situation, you realize, like, I don't want to even be going through this no more, or I don't want to, you know, put just not myself and my family through it. Because when you go to prison or you're in the streets, you're not the only one suffering. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, your mother, your your father, if you have one, mm-hmm. you know, your brothers and sisters, they suffering along with you, the people that love you. Because right. you might not love yourself, but they love you. Right, right, So you right. don't care about yourself. Because I, you know, when I was in the street, sometimes I didn't even care. You know, I feel like 
dying was not even something I thought. It was an afterthought because if it happens, it happens. And one thing you I know. will say about you too, while you was locked up, out of all my friends that's locked up, you was the one that called me the least. And you was the one that asked me for the least. Oh, you know you know me, man. I don't be with that type of time. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Plenty of times you try to give me money and I yeah. said, no, nah, I don't need that much. Yeah, give yeah, me, yeah, yeah. Give yeah, me this. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't believe in taking advantage of no one. You yeah, know? that's why I know what you're saying is true. Like it's, it's more for the other people. It ain't for yourself because you can handle it. You yeah, ain't tripping. Yeah. You, you yeah, ain't let me take that back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you prison you, hard, but oh, prison hard. State town. I don't know about that fear. Oh yeah, state town, state town, woo. Florida. Shh. Yeah. I ask anyone. Yeah, he did state time Boy, in Florida. Well, that state time is a and you can see it in his face. Time. It looked like he did a lot right. of time in hey, the face. <laughs> look like you did some time. Too. Nah, I don't look. At nah, you look good. He looked good. Thank you. I thank think you, so. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You know, he he always hating on me. That's that, he does that. He'll call me. And, Your body looks nice too. I'm not saying that like in the. I'm Boy, just saying, you, you look real nice. You attracted to him. You attracted hand, to him. Hand, Let's be might hand. be attracted because she want that body. Oh, okay. I want his muscles. Well, well, you know they. It can't be your body, so we know. It can't. Hey, hey, man, I'm about. I'm about to cuss him out just now. <laughs> But I'm, yeah, I'm he, if I want SpongeBob titties, I can. Matter of fact, he's my trainer now too. I, even though y- all y'all know I don't work out. But oh, he's same, getting it. But at the same time, I'm just we doing little boxing stuff. Now he's gonna be right on the hand. Now y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all sit down, underestimate my dog, and see what happens. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna be yeah, right yeah, on tra- the hands. I, I don't really care about this shit, but I'm doing this shit because he say I need to do this to hey, stay alive. Hey, y'all know, y- y- y'all his fans. Y'all know he really can needs. Can you to work that. on him eating better? I know you ain't. Talking. Actually, you know what. I eat better than no, you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna say this now. He actually texts me and asks me what kind of protein he needs. Yeah, he, I put. I, he, he does I, do that. I now. do good protein smoothies. I got. Uh, I eat my protein he, protein smoothies. <laughs> Tell me what you had today for um, lunch. I mean today. I had a spicy chicken sandwich with a, a side order of fries and a, a let, strawberry let, Fanta, and I had a protein change, shake. Let's not to change the side, but let's say this though. I don't care nobody says it's hard to eat correctly. It, right? it is. Correctly. I, I'm gonna be the first yeah. one to admit it. I agree. So, you can tell. But you just got to work harder. If you're not going to eat completely right, you just got to work harder. You know, but at least try to eat, you know, balance it out. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. My trainers, he's upset with me. But it is hard. I, I baby steps. Like, should he want me to drink a gallon of water? I'm like, I'm getting two bottles. You know what's, e- you know what's easy, though? Not working out. Like, that don't I take know. Much. I don't no, feel I don't like doing nothing. That don't take much. You should try it. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck working out. You know why I hate working out? Because you can't stop doing it. Like, who wants to do something forever? I don't want to do it forever. That's stupid. So you don't commit to nothing? Not all the time. That's not what life is about. Life is about floating. Yeah. Floating with the wind. That's what I do. I, I, keep that to, keep <laughs> life, that to yourself. You life have a whole is about bunch of, floating. You have a whole floating bunch with of the floating people with the here, wind. Man. All right, what else we going to talk about? All what right. else we going to talk about? So. All right. Well, you, know, you know what? We've been talking about my homeboy, Sean. I think it's now to talk about the most boring part of the show. Let's talk about my sister life. What did you do this week? You know what? You can kiss my ass, fuck boy. I had an <laughs> awesome week. I had an awesome week. <laughs> what you? Nah, for real, nah. What, what's, what's been going on in your week? You, I, actually, it's been a good week for her. It has. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Cause, guess what? What? Drum roll. She don't live with me no more, y'all. She got her own place. I don't live with him no more. Yeah, y'all. I don't live with him no more. After a year. I tell you what, this, I will not date the wrong motherfucker again. Let me tell you something. It'll take a while to recover from that bullshit. Yeah, dude. She, she was right, people. This shit went from 30 days. She was like, I just need to be there for a month. A month turned to six months. Hmm? Six months turned to a yeah. year. I was married to a woman. Yeah. Wait. Got a divorce. I know yeah, that. she got a divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I had my Sean wedding at that. his house. Yeah, yeah. Wow. No, it wasn't at your house. It no, wasn't. it wasn't I at had my house. My bridal shower. She had the bridal shower yeah. at my house. Yeah. Yeah. So I've always been supportive of the gay community. So the whole point is, don't date wrong because it takes a minute to recoup. Yeah, and she. Fi- but you finally recouped though. Yes, praise and, God from whom all blessings flow. And that's, that's another thing too. Like you, people do need. Do need a help in hand too, and it does take time because people think, "All right, I'm gonna help you out." Like that, it's gonna take longer than you it just took longer patient. than I thought. I was like, "Oh, just give me that, give me thirty days. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm get a job like that. Not, not a big deal. I move back to Atlanta." Yeah, it takes time. It takes patience, and the reason why I say take patience because. Because what happens is you get to a point where you have to get something you need. And you don't want to never get to that no. point. Because if it would have got to that point, she would have did it. And, and then by, been right back here again. Yeah, been right back in the same position. But being that she had time to recover and had had something, had a, had a, um, 
had, had something to, to fall back on, which was myself, she was able to build her own self up and do the same thing. So you got to do that for somebody else. You got to pay it forward. Oh, I don't have no problem with that. But I appreciate it because like you said, at the end of the day, I got to continue to stay in my career path, mm-hmm. you know, um, build upon, you know, my background that I do have and get into a company and organization I really I was enjoy. getting nervous too. It was getting so bad because she was praying for it. So I even threw I am in a, a God-fearing woman. Yeah, because I was getting scared. I was like, Lord, please just don't do let this. me have to put my sister out. No, but not even know. that. No, I was praying that that your that whatever you was praying for come true because I I didn't want your faith to go because it looked like your faith was getting weaker and weaker and like what you was that believing. look like your faith get weaker and because weaker. even when I fuck with you about something it was almost like yeah you might be kind of right you know. <laughs> 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 no, uh, and I'd be like, no, I know God's bringing, yeah, 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 God's you know, opening doors. Yeah, He's right. making right. a way. No, nah, that didn't happen in this week. But it's not. It hadn't happened. But I know it's coming. Yeah, I yeah. knew it was coming. But, but it, it came. finally came. So, so, so I prayer it. does For work. It Prayers does. come true. So what I did this week, though, I did go to an LG, uh, LGBT professional meetup. Yeah. So the way I figured. So oh, let me let y'all know right now what her week consists of. Nothing straight. Everything she did was gay. But go ahead. I did do something straight. Okay, but go to the gay shit first, and then okay, you tell okay. us the straight part. So the way I look at it, when women date basketball players, where do they go? They go where the basketball players at. Mm-hmm. So I figure, okay, I want a professional woman. I want a woman in her career. She got a good income. I don't got to take care of her. You know, we take care of, you know, we 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 help out each other. So that I decided to go to this LGBT professional meetup. And so I, I'm changing up my changing up the locations. Okay. So that's that's new. And then I moved to West Midtown. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. What you like about it? I love it. I'm in the middle of everything. Like last night, guess what I did? Ain't that the gay section? I went to... That's um, the gay section, right? So you live in the gay community now. It's not quite. It's like a block away. Like a couple, like... You, you live miles. in the gay... You live in the gay community. But everything is over there. There's like Yeah, food, gay, everything gay over there. Restaurants, um, shopping. Yeah, they build for Ikea. their community. <laughs> Everything's over there. Yeah, they build for, Atlantic Station. Y'all building your own world and pushing us away. But actually, so what I did, what I like about it, I was able to go out last night. Mm-hmm. I went to Bear Pride. You know what that is? If it's gay, why would I know? Well, Bear Pride <laughs> is... <it was laughs> Anything a, that got pride in it is pretty much, I can guarantee it's gay. It was, it's pride. a pride dedicated specifically well, to masculine, husky looking dudes. Hmm? That's, that's called, they're called bears. They got... Ru- they rust, they rough looking, they husky. Oh, no, no, no. And then they have they have the bears, then they have the cubs, then they got the otters, who's the skinnier. So why are you there? You want you a bear? No, I was just hanging out with my friends. But the thing is, we went to we went to three different clubs on the same strip. Like, oh, this ain't popping. Let's go to ten. Oh, this ain't popping. So you're Let's go. It's like kind of like how Orlando and um and New Orleans is for for um, Bourbon Street. Well, yeah, and I'm used to doing this in Atlanta, but the thing <coughs> difference now it only take me five minutes to get home. I just Ubered and got home. Oh, that's dope. So that was that was that was a that was amazing. What so, else went on? Tell us about the straight shit you did. Oh, um, it was a uh, Burger Week in Atlanta, so I met up with. Uh, <laughs> Hold up, hold up. So I met up with How do you find these these type of events? Is people that bored, they make up some shit called, no, there's let's have Burger Week. ATL, Burger Week or something like that. You can go to internet. Like a lot how of restaurants was this? doing like $5. Hold, how, how did you find out about ATL Burger Week? I don't know. My friend just told me because I was. You um, have a lot of born loser friends. It that's not like. true. Okay. There's a difference. But what, why, why, what makes them boring and losers? How do you find that only a bored loser would find out about stuff that, that people people come together to go eat burgers? A burger convention? Shine's like, hmm. Am, am I that's lying? That's not true. That's activities. That's things to do. That's adventure. That's looking at your Eating city. a burger? A lot of people like to go out for enjoyment. Y'all can't enjoyment. think of nothing else to do besides... That was just this I'm not week. saying nothing wrong with it. I'm just you saying... You clearly saying something wrong. You're I'm saying, saying for you to do it, all the out of all the things for people, when you bored, you think of stupid shit. And that was one of them. I enjoyed it. Let me tell you what I did. This I know was, you enjoyed this it. This was enjoyable. Because you was boring. My friend came and she biked over to my house and then we biked over to Midtown. How long was that ride? 18 minutes. Uh-huh. It took her 30 minutes to get to my house. But 18 minutes, she showed me how to bike around in the city. Mm. And then we ate, and then she we bite back home. Did y'all have sex? No, she's straight. I have my straight friend. Uh, you got you found a straight friend. Yeah, we've been but friends. Would for you while. fuck her? No. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> no. I get no. No. The dog. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just in case she listening. 
No, she probably wouldn't be listening. But seriously, I wouldn't date her. But anyway, so, but we good friends. So let's enter into the tweet cipher. Let them know what the tweet cipher is. So this is some of um, Duvall's and I, hilarious tweets and share other funny thoughts. They, what, what we, she's trying to make it sound good, but really what she do, all the tweets that I said or tweeted this this week or the last couple weeks, she bring them up and ask me what, what made me talk about it and explain it. All right, now go ahead. All right, now that you said that bullshit that we didn't need to know, thank you. I'm just kidding. I don't give a fuck. All right, so I want to talk about this dude. You what have to go look at it. Um, Duval oh, the dude posted on my Instagram. this on April 25th. Yeah, and man. This is interesting. I will play it, but it's just him karaoke and kind of lip singing to a song. He so is an OG. I'll he, play like, it so you'll know which one I'm talking about. They know which one. They, it's the one with the old nigga. I explained it to you. Woke y'all. up feeling like. Yeah, like this is an old nigga. Like, he is a nigga I know for a fact is fucking all the bitches over 50 on Facebook. Yeah. He is dicking these bitches down. Like, he does. He looked like a, a heavier Charlie Murphy. He looks like Alexander O'Neill. He who looks. Is that? You don't know who Alexander mm-hmm. He's saying Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, oh, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah, so anyway. But he, he looked like he's having a great time. He just looked like an OG nigga. That's just happy with life and trying to fuck all the 50 year old bitches. And he know he can fuck them because, and nut in them because they won't get pregnant. He be licking his lips at him, be shimmy. Yeah, post. but. Why is he funny to you? I, I followed him. Because it's like, really him. Like, that's why I didn't really want to post him because, like, it's so easy for somebody to go viral. Because I am viral. Like, most people, I'm viral. If I post it, it's, it went viral. So when I post stuff, I know this. But sometimes I don't want it to go viral because I love the innocence in it. I love that's what makes it great. Right. So I don't want it to blow He's up. Trying to do something. Yeah, because once you start blowing up, then it turns to a business and it takes the fun out of it. You know, I'm all and about. Then he's gonna be selling teeth whitening. Yeah, I am getting, and I don't mind it. Like, don't get it twisted. I do want them to get come up, but that's why I eventually did it. Because I do, if it if it, if some do come out of it, I don't know what might do, but if some do come out of it, it's cool. But at the same time, I just wanted to enjoy it enough, enough to myself before I just give it to the rest of the world. Because he's funny as fuck <laughs> And to then me. you couldn't hold it in no more, so you just went ahead and was like, I I'll just, just share it. Fuck it. Well, somebody said. Uh, what somebody said? This old nigga, I bet he be getting bitches, though. Like That's, you pretty much said. Yeah, I know he be getting bitches. All right, so I want to do this together. All right, what's that? You be me, and I'm going to be her, okay? okay? Oh, oh, this meme. I made a meme the other day. It say, me. I think Buddy Gay. Nah, he married. Shit, what that mean? <laughs> so <laughs> basically, this tweet was... Oh, shit. It's basically, the tweet was... It was something about... Because, oh, you know, nowadays, you. everybody... Being married won't save you from not being gay. Yeah, no. being married won't save you from being gay. Because, you know, back in the day, well, I guess back in the day, we all used to be like, nah, he ain't gay. Shit, he married. You'd be like, oh, okay. That won't, that's not the past no more. Niggas is fucking bitches and niggas now. Well, somebody say, I know. Hmm? <laughs> you, oh, you know in prison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me ask you this about prison, Sean. Like, in prison, is it as gay as people make it? Is it, like, is niggas just raping niggas for the booty? And did you get raped for the booty? That's him looking. No, like that's just, looking like that, he's about he about to jaw your ass. Yeah, he just gave me blank stare face. Uh, at certain camps, a great percentage of the population is gay. Mm. But at a lot of camps, like what bro, percentage would you give? Like, like in Florida, what's the Florida state Ooh. prison? What's the population ratio? Man, boy, that's that's kind of hard to estimate because there's a lot of dudes. That is it more than fifty fifty? Maybe. So is anybody getting raped or is it if you fucking you want to fuck? It depends on what camp you're at because if you go to a maximum security. Anybody, what, were you, what were you in? I was at work camps and faith-based programs and stuff like that. So what about them camps? Let's talk about that because we don't want people to. Is that faith-based? Yeah, faith-based. Faith-based. Faith. 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 Like cross. Faith-based. Faith-based camps. They are religious um, camps. And what they do, they try to um Try to help you get yourself together and before you return back to society. So, so how was might- it at that camp? How was it? And what was the ratio there? There's a lot of undercover, so you can't tell. Okay. But you know, you might, but the, the thing that I do learn about. So they're not taking straight that. booty. Are they taking straight booty? I'm, I'm, that's I'm what, that's what, that, because the only people See, that care about this is straight people. So that's the only questions and answers we well, want. Th- you, you really don't know a dude until you do time with him. 
So a lot of dudes there. No, I'm like, saying if I'm straight, do I got a problem? No, nah, you ain't got no bad faith base. Come on, man. I don't know. Nigga, wait, I ain't. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You know you, I go I to a gay know. church. Yeah. Uh, huh? Goes, he got speechless. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, she goes to a gay church. Well, you know, stuff don't change since I've been gone. Yeah, stuff, a lot of shit has changed in his nine years being in prison. But, so, like, but what I'm saying is a lot of dudes, you know, they woman might come see him every weekend. Mm-hmm. But soon as she leave, they back huddled up with another dude. No. In a room with another dude. No. Like, all the time, man. Seriously. That's the sad thing about it, because a lot of women don't know what's going on in there. You ever, and, and, the, and don't think I'm trying you. You ever had somebody try you in there? Hell no. They don't try you. So they ain't going to try you if unless you. Man, a dude can read you and tell you what type of dude you is. Like you said, you can look at a dude like me. But you just said you can't tell dude. undercover. No, then. what I'm saying is, I, she know. Because if I do, most dudes that, you know, when you're in, the, in that community, they, they can decide, tell they can tell. You know, it's certain things they do. Don't say I know, because we live in Atlanta, and I think oh, yeah, everybody's right. gay. Right. Well, you, so, you, you, you it, it is, a lot has totally changed. Totally wrong. A lot has changed. I just feel like, the thing, um, somebody said, I know a chick married to a gay dude, and another Some person. Some accept it. Another mm. person, that's true. I think desperation. It got so bad out here now. Y'all accepting gay niggas now? And, and and sometimes it'd be like, how can you not know that this nigga is gay? That's what blows you my mind. You know what's mind. crazy? Patty LaBelle was her husband. She was with for fifty years, and he ended up being gay. I mean, no, he was gay, and she knew this for fifty years. Yeah, that's what Did I'm saying. Know? No Some woman do anything just to keep a man. And you I think, think that's what she was. I think she. I think she just loved him so much. Well, we don't know what she likes in a bedroom, so hey, he might compliment yeah. her what she wants. You know, so it, it's different. But what I was saying about prison, you got a lot of dudes, and I, I want to say this to a lot of women. It's a lot of dudes that you don't even know of that are gay. Well, they bisexual, they cute. I don't know what the hell they are. But the thing about it is they sleep with these dudes. You don't know when they come home if they got any type of disease or anything. Mm. So you got to be very mindful. That's Cause interesting because I, like, I, I didn't partners, even think about like that. I got partners. They find out that a dude undercover, oh, they're going to put the word out there. I, I got partners that uh, go step to your, your chick. Why? And she at Vizzo. When you go to when uh, you go to the um, restroom or something, hey man, your old man doing this here. Oh wow! Uh, but a lot of women don't want to hear that. Wow! I don't have partners to do that. So, but I would want somebody to do that to me. I would want you to tell me because that to me, I, I don't want to date no bi man no because I don't know when we go into the club what you looking at. How do you feel about about down low motherfuckers? I think how do gay how do you feel the gay community? Or just yourself, your own opinion. Don't speak for the whole gay community. But how do you feel about down low? You know, one of the things I like about living my life and, and, the, and the thing that I think that I'm I'm glad that I decided to live my life because of opportunities like this, where I can be Lil Duval's gay-ass sister mm-hmm. and I can be my authentic Rolanda self. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I look for in my life. And I think as a country, we become more accepting. Um, we become more accepting that this will change. As we're becoming more accepting, this will change. But mm-hmm. I think it's a lot of a product of people wanting to conform to society. Or that wanting to gain acceptance from their family members or their, you know, their friends, family, and, and hiding who they really are. That's what I think it is. You, you, you afraid of what people going to say. Like we talked about Danny Boy. Remember we watched the video with Danny Boy, the guy oh, from, yeah, the same, I, I ain't, ain't mad at you. At you. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. The Tupac song. You know, he said, I can't remember what he said. That was a long ass time ago. But I just thought about Danny Boy. <laughs> But like, if I, I don't want to put words in his mouth. Right. But basically what I'm gathering is from my pr- experience and what I've heard, heard from my gay friends, it's like it takes down their masculinity and they don't no longer you viewed as a man when you say you're gay. Oh, so I feel like it takes the masculinity because in their mind, they're gay, but they're still masculine. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, you then, want to clarify yeah. something? Even going back to the percentage in prison, I wouldn't say 50%, but I at least say about 20%. Okay, about twenty yeah. percent is gay, so it's okay as long as you ain't gay. You ain't got to worry about getting ran up in. Exactly. Okay, long I just want to, as long as you know, you you know how to protect yourself. I just you ain't, ain't want nobody. I ain't trying to be nobody boy pussy. And that's the thing they come off. They come off as hard, but in the in the, when they with their gay friends, they the most feminist niggas you ever met in your life. Mm. Like they come off so tough, like why, you said. Why do got to take booty when dudes giving away booty? Yeah, why are they taking... Oh, so the people ain't getting raped is what you're saying. No, nah, that's what he's saying. He's saying they're not getting raped. So, right, so pe- right. That's why I was asking. Institutions, that can't happen. If you real weak, then dudes will try. No, they will try you. Somebody they said, you up, somebody said being married didn't say Bruce Jenner. I think Bruce Jenner just did that because he got tired of not getting no attention. He said, 
I get more attention from being a girl. And it worked. I don't know what he is. I think he's fucked up in the head. I don't know. I don't know what he is. So what else are we talking about? So if money... Because we about to wrap this on up. No, we, we just getting started. If money is started, been out. What the fuck? if money is your is your main motivation, me and you will never see like uh see life the same. See life the same. Yeah, I was talking about because I just hate like I hear I always hear people talking. I was talking about this on my Snapchat. I might post it on my Instagram, but I was just people I always hear people saying if it ain't about money, I don't want to talk to you. This that whatever. And me personally, I'm the total opposite. I really like when people start talking money and this that whatever. That's a turn off to me because that's you're not being genuine. We're not talking about regular stuff. And I get it. You're trying to get some money, this, that, whatever. But if we're having a regular conversation and we're in the club and you see me chilling, don't talk to me about no money. Well, you might be the only opportunity to person, like he said, they don't see people in the streets like that. Right. So now they finally see, man, this is somebody that is but doing that's not, great things. But you got to understand what you're trying. He's traveling around the world. Well, let me world. say this. Let me say this. You got to understand when you're talking, to, when you're trying to, trying to get somebody attention, you got to do what it takes to get their attention. And if that's not going to get my attention, it ain't going to work. What, I think with our youth and what's going on now, you really got to bound boozle people into believing that it's other things to do. Yeah. You really. You like really the money do. money is not going to make you happy. The money, chasing money is not going to get you money. Everybody that's telling you to chase money, I can guarantee you for the most part that I know for a fact celebs that's telling you to chase money, that's not how they got the money. They got their money because they you really love what they doing. So what are your primary motivators? What motivates? If money is not your motivator, what's your Being motivator? happy and seeing and, and being able to provide for, for my loved ones and being able to to make a difference. So let me say that's, if somebody that's was really like, my motivation. Duval, we want you to do a show for $1,000. And you'd be like, nigga, I ain't doing no show for no $1,000. You know my, what I charge. That's not being motivated by money? No, because that's not. that means you're not looking at me as a... To me, you downplaying what I am. You're not gonna run up to uh, Jamie Fox and say give him a thousand dollars. You're not gonna run up to. But if to it's Kevin all you want to do is be happy, but I'm at the same time, I still want you still gonna use my services. You because you use my service to make way more than the thousand dollars. Right, right, okay, that makes sense. You use my like I'm finna get you gonna give me a thousand dollars and sell out Phillips Arena. Fuck out of here. Someone say you got me fucked up. It's still a bit like I ain't no dumbass nigga. I ain't, I still get my money. If it, all y'all know this, but I mean. Y'all that's in here, y'all know it ain't all I'm, twenty. Y'all know this. Yeah, there's people that's in this house. You know, y'all know for <laughs> sure. I ain't. I, I gets my money. I just don't put money first. So, money ain't gonna make me move. Somebody say easy to say when you ain't part of the low or mid class income bracket. Is the reason, but the funny thing about it is, I was. I was poor. Y'all know me. We was all poor. So <laughs> y'all know me. We was all poor. Came yeah, yeah, yeah. We was all poor. So I was y'all. And the, the difference is I've always had this mentality. I've always had this. So so you can't use that excuse. So evidently that's some bullshit. It's you. They say, yeah, okay. If you was broke like us, you would not be saying that bullshit. Yeah, you were buying 10 jugglers. I was buying 10 jugglers. You you heard what my man you said. Was buying 10 jugglers. I was buying 10 jugglers, thinking I was balling. <laughs> Nigga, if that ain't coming from nothing, ten jugglers a hundred dollars. Speaking of money, selling illegal drugs that could have got me ten years. If that ain't coming from nothing, I don't know what is. Like, come on, now, y'all tripping. I want to talk about something that's a little techie that we talked about at work. All right, let's change the subject. Go ahead. Um, what do you think private companies like Uber, Airbnb, Snapchat have in common? They all pretty much based off people, but people don't realize it's based off them. So they're really using them. It's just like on the Explorer page on Instagram, we get mad because it's telling us what we like, but really only thing it's going by is what we go by. You, you hate, you hate that somebody know you better than you know yourself. And that's what bother people. And it's the same thing with everything else. And that's right. Another thing is that they're private companies valued at $1 billion. They're called unicorns. Meaning what? Unicorns is that they're the mystical company with billion dollar tech startups. But that just shows you how much money is in the community. They're, all they making money off is the community. So it's the community that's making, and that's what, that's the same thing I try to instill in people. And even in our own community, our hood communities, 
You can build that to make it great. We can build that to make it great. We're doing it. And, and just for me talking on, on this here, talking whenever I talk, I'm speaking it in existence and, 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 and educating our people. Like, it's all in you. It don't take that much. The thing, you know, from the movie The Social Network, have you ever watched that? Uh-uh, what's that? The dude, um, Facebook exec said, Sean Park, he said, a million dollars isn't cool no more. He said, you know what's cool? A billion dollars. Mm. It's easy. It's easy to get a billion. That's the whole point of this. They made a billion dollars in less than two years. That's why they're called mm -hmm. unicorns. Oh, because they made a bit because the money. That's how you know money is not real because now you can get a billion. Like you can get a billion dollars now. You used to couldn't. Like Janet so Jackson's you know, dating a billionaire. Like, Mariah Carey's dating a billionaire. Like I don't give a fuck. Like there's really. We just making this money up. Like Nobody's we're really like, chasing something that's not really there. Only, it's gonna be like when we turn twenty years from now, people are like I'm getting these trillions, hmm. I'm getting these zillions, and you still not gonna have enough. So why <laughs> chase it? That's the moral of the story of this podcast. It's no reason to chase something that's not really real. Mm. You're reaching something. I'm so deep. Do you speaking hear this? Of money, speaking do y'all hold up? Do y'all hear how deep I am right now? I am on a whole nother level on you, fuck boy. Speaking of kids. Y'all better not. I'm telling you now. Speaking of money, let's go on to fake uh, Karen where we run down a particular topic right, of different to issues. Because I want to talk about our auntie. Which one? Auntie Harriet Tubman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I was Tubman. talking about this on podcast. And people don't realize this. Like, and I've seen in the news and the blogs and everything, the new thing, Harriet Tubman is going to be on the $20 bill. Let me explain. If you don't know who Harriet Tubman is, yeah. she was born into slavery. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, because I was going to say who don't, but then again, I was watching one of them housewives and the bitch ain't know who the fuck. She talking about, where's the train? Where did the train come from? Yeah. She was born into slavery, escaped in 1849, only to return to the South and help hundreds of others to freedom on the Underground Railroad. Mm -hmm. Um... The thing about Harriet, Harriet wasn't no hoe. Mm -mm. She was getting it in. Mm -hmm. She was about that What'd life. What you think about that picture, though? Which picture? I mean, shit. That's the only picture I saw of her. Yeah, I ain't mad. Shit. I just want her to, them to soften her up a little what bit. What you want to have? Hair, hair, hair done? Put her like a, a, a Snapchat <laughs> You want hair done to get a... Contour her. Contour her face? Mm -hmm. She's like the current person has my son. Like Y'all want her to have a, a weave or something? Get the fuck out of here. Let yeah, me, she, give us... But we got, you and I got about nice too teeth. Much. Yeah, you complain about too much. But what we're saying is like, Harriet Tubman is my great great grand aunt, yeah. and it really is. And really. when I found that out, it all made sense with my own life because, in a certain type of way, I want to help my people come out of bondage. Mm, you Moses, you know? yeah, like, and that's what that's what she did. So now I can see where that seed came from, and explain to them because you did some research. Because you know I'm not good at articulating the the well, proof and the pudding. Well, but, I called Grammy. Grammy's yeah. from um, Philadelphia. Grammy actually is the one that moved to the Bahamas. Our grandfather yeah. um, actually married, well, married, and they got yeah, married. Yeah, we're down Bahamians in the Bahamas. too. Shout mm -hmm. out to all my Bahamians. Yeah, Nassau. Mm -hmm. So, um, Grand, um, in Bristol, Pennsylvania, there's a statue of Harriet Tubman with our names on it. All our names? You, me, Renice, Mama. Hold up, my name on there? Yeah. Oh, I'm flying there. So I'm flying there to stunt like, on these fuck niggas. What I like if 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 you live in if you're listening and you live in Bristol, Pennsylvania, tweet us a picture of our names on the monument. Fuck that. I'm going there. That's tight. Nigga, I'm it's right go off it's right off the Delaware Canal. Oh, I'm going there. I'm finna go put that on Instagram on the whole ass See? nigga for the 2016. Yes, yeah, nigga. I got my auntie is on the twenty dollar bill. We got bill. proof. We got proof, nigga. My auntie is on the twenty dollar bill. And I'm on the statue, nigga. Fuck you, the Duval. Auntie is on the twenty dollar bill. Amanda and Little Duval. That's how we gonna end this show. No, how can you out stunt that? No, no, no. We gonna have nigga. Why y'all putting all y'all money on the grand, holding up as a phone, nigga? My auntie, Yo, auntie got a twenty dollar bill. It's on the twenty dollar bill that you holding up, bro. Huh. Come on, now. Come on, huh? Come on, now. Huh? Nigga, nigga, and y'all. The crazy part about this, y'all know me. So y'all friends with a nigga. That's auntie. On the twenty dollar bill. Come on now. Come on now. Come Don't on let the light skin fool you. Come on she is now. Auntie. 
Y'all well, applaud the greatness. She looks just like Grammy. She looks just like my Grammy, She's short. Too. She's like... Blah. So you trying to say Grammy need to get her makeup done, too, since you saying Harry Tubman? I didn't say that. Don't say, you put, the, you don't you put those did? words in my mouth. You kind of saying Don't you that. put those words in my mouth. <laughs> we love Grammy's you, Grammy. Grammy's more on the contour side, too. Yeah, we love Grammy. Is it because she's dark skin? <laughs> yeah. No, they yeah. really do. You know Grammy look nah, like yeah. Harry Tubman. Yeah, Grammy look like... Don't you yeah. add in. Don't you co-sign. Sit down, nigga. Sit down. Don't co-sign. Well, at least before we go... We gonna have to talk about what Beyonce. Oh yeah! Hi, right, this is her time. I'm finna put the mic down. <laughs> I do not feel like no. no I, hey, I don't want to be high on, on me. I know Beyonce is great, and she's the the greatest entertainer alive right now. But at the same time, that is for y'all women. So y'all get the talk. I have a podcast by myself. Cause this is about y'all. Well, here's the question I want to ask you because a lot okay. of it she's talking about Beyonce. I mean, it sounds like it's Jay Z cheating, right? And so she even mentioned the thing about her she, daddy. Y'all eating that bullshit up. Well, even still, I just want to ask you. So she she says, okay, y'all, she talking about her daddy. You remind me of my father. And we all, that nigga was no good. Because, you know, he had a baby and then uh, his, her mom ended up marrying somebody else. But let me ask you this. This is the question I want to ask. Because this made me want to round up my friend as well. So that make him no good because he got caught cheating. But, but let me ask, no, this is the question. Uh, Allegedly got caught. Allegedly. But he was married. Allegedly. He got caught. But he got a baby. So what does that mean? Allegedly, she was, that's that baby, baby is his. All right, we'll go with that. The question <laughs> I would ask you is this. Should you leave if he cheats? You know my answer to that. You leave no man if he cheat. Like, actually, he winning if you leave. Who should I go to next? Yeah, I mean, don't get yourself in the same position. as Because that's Beyonce and Beyonce. They can find another man. Look around you. Do, they, do you see any options? Hey, take that L. You sleep downstairs one night, he sleep upstairs. And my thing is this, people who... Statistically, we know that women... Are come on, come on, I'm being real with y'all. I'm being real with y'all. Go ahead, what you think? Well, I think, like, you know, when you talk to married couples that have been married for, like, 20, 30 years, I think somebody cheated. And they got through the rough storms. Cheating ain't gonna make or break the relationship if you take that out of it. If you take cheating out of it, like, what else is there to complain about? Like, there's nothing else to complain about. So why even put that much emphasis um, on, on cheating? Because sex, sex has Especially a big... Especially a man. Sex is strong. Sex, sex is strong for women. Have, no, sex it's is strong, strong for a man a and sex a Sex is strong for a man only when I dig hard. That's the only time... That's the only time sex fuck us up. That's the only time we fuck up shit when I dig hard. So the moral of the story is keep your man dick soft. He will never cheat on you. <laughs> That's what she said. Geico. She said, I've done everything. I kept it sexy for you. I role played for you. She had the partition in the arm. Um... His dick wasn't soft. That's the problem with women, though. So you're Sometimes saying she it... wasn't doing them enough? No, it ain't that. It's just we, one woman ain't going to do it. It's just shit. All, look at look at in other countries. They have thousands of women. I think you should have as many women as you can afford. That's what the Bible says. What, what you say? That's what the Bible said. What that's what he said. What what scripture? He don't even know. What's the Hezekiah? scripture? I don't know, but it said <laughs> Hezekiah yeah, three that's some sixteen. Shit he he like, how about the Bible say? Well, what's the scripture? Hezekiah said yeah. concubine. So yeah. what are you talking yeah. about? I don't know. I, no. I just feel like I know when I had sex with more than one woman at the same time, the shit feel right. Just feel like this is supposed to be happening. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to go down. Yeah. But I'm done with talking. No, I don't feel well, like you know Serena no Williams was on there too. Yeah, did you I see her I twerking? Done. I guess I'm not. But go ahead. Yeah, I saw it. The thing I like about Serena Williams, what? she made a cameo mm -mm -mm. in the video. Mm. The thing I like about Serena is that Beyonce wasn't intimidated to have another beautiful, she was successful woman. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't intimidated to have another beautiful, su successful woman in her music video. I mm. like that. Mm. You care about some shit that no, we don't. Do you? No. Yeah. Everyone knows and everyone's thinking yeah, about this. And they, that, they care about that. So you ain't just finna ain't, rain on my parade about ain't Beyonce. Ain't no kids talking about, you know what? Now that we saw them together, that means we can get together. That means, you know what? When there's another woman in, around, I can help her instead of being against her and competing with her. Okay. That's what that means. It looked like y'all We both can be successful. You know what's so funny? Y'all always complain about that, but y'all look y'all look out for each other more than we do. Who? M women. Y'all uplift each other. Look at all, y'all band together. Look at all the feminist groups. Ain't no f man chauvin. What, what, what are minimus? What, what is men that's not feminist? Mi minimus? They're, men are feminists. Men can be feminists too. It's minimus. <laughs>
All right, so before you well, want to wrap this up. But you don't see up, us banding together. Shit. I want to. So wanna... y'all y'all really be together more than we do. So y'all need. We pretend to be together. Yeah, well, whatever Women it is. Women don't be together. Women is slimy as hell. They will have well, you whatever thinking y'all that y'all together. It's just like Flo. It's but just like Jacksonville. Serena be over there fucking Jay-Z. It's just like Jacksonville. Jacksonville hate each other while we together. But when we outside the city, we act like we the best friends. Like, we look out for each other. Yeah, but we don't fuck with each other like that, you know? <laughs> All right, so let's move on to blank, uh, blank stare news uh, with this. Oh, with Tank. There's nothing wrong with having your salad tampered with every now and then. Just give me a second. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with, you know, having your salad, you know, visited every blue moon. Come again, say what? There's nothing wrong. All right, that's enough of that. God he, damn. I heard him talk about that on The Breakfast Club, how the story, he said he was in the car. And the older woman, he was like 18 or something like that. The older woman told him to put his legs up. And he was like, nah, I can't do it. And then he, she said, put your legs up. So he had his legs up against the steering column or something like that. And she went down on him. I just can't. Tank I, name can't be Tank no more. His name need to be Tossed. Tossed. Hey, yeah, I'm Tossed. Like, Welcome to the city. Come on. like it, it's, it's, I don't give a fuck how you put it, how you rap it. And if that's what you want to do, that's cool. But I can't see no nigga having his like legs up there. Like you if you If you look like a bitch in a certain position... It's gay. So is it gay if a woman perform homosexual? I wouldn't give a fuck what you do. Men are not supposed to be penetrating. We supposed to be doing the penetration. It's not penetration. It's licking, right? Man, them girls sticking their tongue in the nigga booty hole. Is it the act or is the person that's doing the act? I wouldn't give a fuck who doing it. I'm not. It's you cocked over, bro. You cocked. <laughs> so this is this is a. Uh... You cocked. With having your salad tampered with. Every now and then. Just give me a second. Every now. So so if you do it all the time, that's just way too much. But if you do it. it wrong with, you know, having your salad, you know, visited every blue moon. Come the fuck? Yeah, you the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, but if you do it every. If you do it all the time, that's gay. Yeah, if you do it but every. Every blue. Every blue. You can't do it every full moon. Sunday. You can't do it every full moon. But every blue moon is okay. Get the fuck out of here. You lost me with that tank. And I fuck with tank. Tank is one of the realest R&B singers I've met. But that's where a nigga lost me. So, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's episode four at you. Mm -hmm. Check out Rich Broke. Net, uh, richbroke.net mm -hmm. to get tickets to the Inappropriately Funny Tour. Yeah. Where will you be at next? I'm be in Richmond um, this weekend at the Funny Bone. So make sure you get your tickets. You can go to the uh, Funny Bone website in Richmond, Virginia this weekend. Um, I'm not sure, so don't quote me the dates, but I know I'll be in Baltimore coming up. I'll be in, uh, shit, I forgot. But just follow me on Instagram. I'll let y'all know. I don't remember. And where can they find you, Sean? King Hezekiah on um, Instagram with two eyes and Bogart Humphreys on Facebook. What? Just, yeah, you got just like follow. Just, I'll just yeah. add him. I add him. Yeah. Yeah, because he got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just add him. All right. So, and then you can follow me at Rolanda underscore Shaw on Instagram and Twitter. So, until next time, I appreciate y'all following us and, and and keeping up and commenting. Thanks for being around. Anything you want to say, Duval? Uh, no, that's it. No thank yous. Thank y'all. God bless. Good night. <laughs>